Well, Evergreen College in Washington State is melting down, and that's not an overstatement. Two weeks ago, we interviewed a professor there, a math professor called Brett Weinstein. He's a liberal who's been overwhelmed by the left. He had a mob of students demanding he be fired because he refused to leave campus for a day because he was white. They demanded he leave, and he said, no, I don't think so. Now at least 60 Evergreen faculty and staff have signed a letter supporting the students against the professor. They're demanding a disciplinary investigation of Weinstein, who they say has, quote, endangered students by inviting, quote, white supremacist backlash through his refusal to leave campus because he's white. This is all real, by the way. Tommy Lahren is a senior communications advisor for the Great American Alliance, and she joins us now. Tommy, what is going on in Evergreen? Oh, boy. I mean, the fact that this is happening in the United States of America, first of all, is disturbing. But isn't it? odd, Tucker, that there used to be generations of Americans that fought against segregation, and now it seems the new generation is fighting for segregation. It's lunacy. Well, this poor Professor Weinstein, we talked to him and said, you know, you're probably liberal. He said, actually, I'm a lefty. I mean, I think he's a Bernie Sanders guy. But he remembers liberals as they were a generation ago against segregation and hurting people on the basis of their skin color. And he woke up one day and everyone around him disagreed. I mean, it's a 180 degree change, it looks like. Well, I can't believe it. And to throw out these words like racist, especially at a professor who said, I think we should all come together on campus. No one should stay home. We shouldn't have a day of exclusion. The fact that he came out and said that was brave. But then to be called a racist because of it, it just shows how ridiculous these labels are and how damaging they can be. But the most disgusting and disturbing part of this whole thing is that there are other professors that are sticking up for the mob-like protesters. Now that's what's got me. Well, you got to kind of wonder their motives, which are, I guess, unknowable. But I, I wonder how many of them are just afraid to disagree with the mob. I mean, they no longer run Evergreen, obviously. The president's a spineless character. He bowed out a long time ago. So basically, it's being run by an angry mob implying violence. Maybe they just don't want to get hurt. Well, that's probably part of it. But here's the deal. We know this. The alt-left is well-organized and they're well-funded. And they are on college campuses and that is going to be a battleground for us, not just now, but for election cycles to come. So that's why it's so important for me to be a part of groups like Great America Alliance that says, you know what, we're going to do this professionally and with class. We're not going to have mobs. We're going to get our message out there and we're going to do it using free speech. But we're not going to do it like the students at Evergreen College because that's disruptive. It's disgusting. It's violent and it's un-American. Where's the Civil Rights Division at the Justice Department? I mean, if you had any other college where a mob of students were implying physical violence, threatening someone because of his skin color, and you had faculty doing the same, I mean, wouldn't, shouldn't there be a civil rights investigation of this? Where's this, the state senate in the state of Washington? Where's the governor? Where's the mayor of Olympia? Like, where are the authorities here exactly? Everyone is afraid to speak out because if they speak out against this, they are labeled a racist. Everyone is so afraid of being labeled a racist, so they've got the power then. It's the alt-left, it's mobs like this that have the power and they hold the power. And I also hold the mainstream media accountable for that as well. The mainstream media needs to be coming out and saying, this is crap. And until they do that, groups like this feel justified and validated for this kind of activity, and it's disgusting. But when people start becoming fearless enough to stand up, that's when this stuff will end, but not I, until I then. I agree with that completely, and I wonder what, how long they think it's going to be before the mob comes for them, since the revolution always eats itself. <laughs> I mean, seriously, well, you really think you buy a pass by nodding in agreement with the mob? No, you never do. Oh, no, of course not. And, you know, these individuals, they, they, claim, they claim to be sticking up for, for civil rights. They claim to be social justice warriors, and they act like this. I mean, that video that's been posted on YouTube is appalling. Anyone, can you imagine being a parent right now, ready to send your child to college? Can you imagine being a parent of a conservative student, ready to send them to college? Can you imagine what that must feel like? Can you imagine being an alum, getting a phone call from a fundraiser saying, hey, why don't you give some money to a college, any college, <laughs> you know, other than Hillsdale? No way! Tommy Laren, thanks a lot for coming on tonight. Of course, thanks for having me.